Welcome to Rise Up Yoga. I'm Ashley. Thanks so much for joining me as we journey through the Light Sears Tarot deck, making a yoga video based off of each card. Now today I'll have the option to use any yoga blocks or yoga straps. So if you have those, you can go ahead and grab those. If you don't have either one of those, that's okay. You will be enough. And we're gonna meet on the mat in a cross-legged seat. So take your time to get comfortable on the mat. Today we're tapping into our intuition with card number two, the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the gateway to our subconscious mind and opens us up to our inner guidance that is our intuition. And by learning to follow our intuition and how to separate it from our thoughts, we can begin to move through life with more ease, trusting our inner wisdom to guide us. Now we can deepen our intuitive abilities by slowing down and turning inwards or by meditating for a few minutes a day. So to begin, we will be doing a short meditation in order to connect to the present moment and to open us up to our intuition. You can find a comfortable seat on the mat, either staying in this cross-legged seat. You can come into a lotus position with one foot stacked on top of the other, or you can come to lie on your back in Shavasana if that's most comfortable for you. Just find whichever position is calling for you today. And once you get there, if you're in a cross-legged or lotus position, you can bring your hands to the top of your knees, palms faced up. If you're in Shavasana, go ahead and relax your hands by your side. Again, palms faced up. And then once you get to where you want to be, Go ahead and close your eyes and turn inwards as we connect to our breath. So let's all take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale to relax your body. Deep breath in and exhale to relax your body even more. Inhale. And exhale, this time to relax your mind. If any thoughts are coming up, just let them pass. Come back to the present moment with your breath. And continue to breathe at your own rhythm, starting to just notice how you feel without judgment just noticing. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. On this deep breath, send your attention to your feet and your legs. Notice how you're feeling in your toes, in your calves, in your hamstrings. Let your next breath Bring some love to your hips and your glutes. Again, just be aware, be aware of these areas. On your next deep breath in, take a big belly breath. So really expand through your diaphragm and exhale to relax, letting everything go. Take your next breath in, really expanding through the lungs this time, opening up through your chest, shining through your heart space, and exhale. Let your next breath bring your awareness to your arms and your shoulders. 
start to bring your attention to your back and your neck. Take a deep breath in through the nose, this time bringing your awareness to your head space. Are any of those thoughts still popping up? If so, take this opportunity to release them. Check in with your breath. And then start to bring your awareness to your third eye center. So uh, that's the point in the space in between your eyebrows that's considered our center of intuition. So not only is our third eye center about our intuition, it's also our center of imagination and becoming open to different possibilities, trusting your vision if you have been dreaming about doing anything lately. So take a moment to let that sink in, connect to that center. And then take a moment here to repeat to yourself, I am connected to the universe. I release my ego, I release my judgments, and I open myself to my inner guidance that is my intuition. Take one more breath. And then using your intuition, try and keep your eyes closed if you can. We're gonna make our way to the middle of our mat, faced towards the top of the mat. So you know where you're at on the mat. So just start to take some movement and bring your knees about as wide as the mat, big toes to touch, and come to rest gently on your heels. Once you get there, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Take a look around if you need to adjust yourself on your mat, go ahead and do so. And then take a deep breath in through the nose, lengthening through the crown. And then exhale to melt your heart and your third eye center towards the ground as we come into child's pose. Reach your fingertips towards the top of the mat. Spread your fingers out wide and really press firmly into your hands. Then go ahead and bring your third eye all the way towards the mat if it's available to you. If you would like to put a block underneath your forehead, you can do that as well. And then again, just start to come back to your breath. Is there anything that you've been dreaming about lately, about wanting to do or pursue or just be? Go ahead and bring that vision into your mind's eye. And then trust that your vision, trust the universe and trust yourself to bring this vision to light. Again, the third eye center, is about opening us up to different possibilities. So just go ahead and start to imagine. And then you can start to take some movements with your forehead, rolling to the left and to the right, just massaging out your third eye center, using your breath to guide you. And then go ahead and start to walk your hands to the right side of the mat. They can come to spill off just slightly. As we come into this side body stretch, we're really releasing the tension in the muscles around our ribs, opening up space through our lungs and our diaphragms and in our heart space. This is really beneficial for our breathing. So really just breathe into this and feel that expansion. 
Okay, go ahead and walk your hands back to center and then take them to the left side of the mat. Doing the same thing this way, coming into the side body stretch for the right side. Now these side body movements aren't something that we do in our day to day normally. Normally we're leaning forwards and backwards. So getting the opportunity to stretch out through our side body is really beneficial. So we'll be doing a couple of these throughout the practice. Then go ahead and start to take your hands back to center. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. You can start to press yourself up into a tabletop position. We'll only be here for a moment and then start to tuck your toes and peel your knees up off of the mat, lifting your hips up to the sky for down dog. You can walk your hands forward just slightly, so you're working to get biceps near your ears. And then stay here in stillness for a moment, working to bring your heels towards the mat, working to keep a flat back, if needed at any point during down dog, you can always come to your knees for a rest. And then take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale to start to bend through your right knee, then drop your right hip towards the side of the mat. So again, coming into another side body stretch and then come back to center and take it to the other side, bending through your left knee, dropping through your left hip. And then start to take this movement side to side, following your breath. If you'd like, you can also start to just pedal out your dog without dipping your hips. That will stretch more through your hamstrings. We're just finding some movement to warm up the body. All right, take one more breath and then we'll meet back at center. On an inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. And exhale to step your right foot through between your hands. Find this grounding pose close to the mat, really pressing through all four corners of your right foot. And then as you're ready on an inhale, start to slowly rise up as we come into a crescent lunge. Make sure your hips are square towards the top of the mat and then inhale to reach your hands up to the sky. You can take your gaze up with them Here, go ahead and drop your tailbone down slightly and then reach up through your front body to get an even deeper stretch through the front body and through your legs. Deep breath in and exhale, open it up to warrior two. So open your hips towards the left side of the mat. Make sure your back foot is parallel towards the back of the mat and we're really pressing firmly into the back edge of our left foot. Take your gaze over your right fingertips. Let your exhales relax your body, relax your shoulders and your face. And then on an inhale, start to straighten your front leg and reach your fingertips up to the sky and then meet them overhead. Take your gaze up with them. And then exhale it back to warrior two. Now continue to flow here, breath to movement. On the inhale, straightening your front leg, reaching your right fingertips. Exhale, back to warrior two. Let your intuition guide you towards your own pace. 
Find the soft flowing movement like water. And then take one more breath and we'll meet back at warrior two. All right, this time we're gonna inhale to straighten our front leg and then start to reach your right fingertips towards the top of the mat, bringing your torso with it. Exhale to drop your right fingertips towards the mat, left fingertips high up towards the sky as we come into triangle. If you'd like, you can put a block under your right hand from some extra support. And then really feel this stretch through your left hamstring, your left leg. You can press your right hand into your right leg to start to open up more through your chest. We're really shining our heart towards the side of the mat, finding this nice open pose. Come back to the present moment, release any thoughts, find your breath. And then go ahead and start to bring your back foot in just a step or two. So we're just shortening our stance a little bit. On an exhale, bring your left fingertips down to meet your right. And then frame your right foot with both of your hands. Now, as we come into this pyramid pose, we want our hips to be square towards the top of the mat. So if you need to adjust your feet, go ahead and do that until we're coming into a position with our right leg straight for the most part with a gentle micro bend in that knee. And then as you exhale, go ahead and work to bring your third eye towards your knee. Now, it doesn't matter so much that your forehead is coming down to this point. It's really the intention of it that matters. So no worries if you're not close to that area. We're just using this to stretch more throughout our leg. This pyramid pose really connects us to our third eye center. So come back to that imagination that you had in the beginning of the practice. Maybe bring your vision to light once again. And then we can come into a Jalandhara Bandha in order to increase this connection to our third eye. So we do that by tucking our chin into our chest, bringing your tongue to the palate at the top of your mouth, and then smile just slightly. So we're really connecting and engaging through this third eye center. Find one more breath. And then start to bring a generous bend into both of your legs and then press it up as we come into warrior one, reach your fingertips up to the sky, ground down through both of your feet, press into the outer edges of both your feet as if you're working to tear apart the mat. Feel this opening through the belly and then exhale it to warrior two. You can increase your stance just slightly as we come into this. Then start to rotate your right toes towards the left side of the mat. So we're coming into a position where both of our feet are parallel towards one another. Then you can bring your toes in just slightly, heels slightly out, and then bring your hands towards your hips. Inhale to lengthen through the spine and then exhale to hinge from your hips, keeping a flat back as long as you can. As we come to release our head towards the earth. Now you can relax your hands towards the earth. But another option here is to clasp your hands behind your back. And then on the inhale, go ahead and reach your hands up towards the sky or towards the side of the mat. So we start to open up through our shoulders. If that's not available to you, you can just leave your hands on your mat 
or rest them on a block in front of you. This position is another one that's really beneficial for connecting us to our third eye center. So again, just coming back to that place. Take one more breath. And then inhale to slowly start to rise up as we meet back in this standing position. Now go ahead and start to rotate your left toes towards the back edge of your mat and then come into a warrior two position facing the back edge of your mat. We're really strengthening through our legs and stretching through our groins and strengthening through our shoulders. So just really come into that strengthening pose. Breathe and take your gaze out over your left fingertips. You're doing a beautiful job. All right, and then on your inhale, again, let's straighten our left leg and reach your fingertips up to the sky. Really open up through your belly. Take your gaze up towards your fingertips. And again, start to find that flow at your own movement. Warrior two, straightening your leg on the inhales. Work to move with as much ease as possible, really channeling that intuition that allows us to move with more ease. And then take one more breath and we'll meet back in warrior two. All right, go ahead and straighten through the left leg. On an inhale, reach your left fingertips forward, hinging your hip forward and exhale, left fingertips towards the mat, right fingertips towards the sky. And work to keep a flat back here as much as possible. You can do this by rotating more towards the side of the mat if possible for you. And take your gaze up towards your right fingertips. Make sure you still have a gentle bend in your front knee in order to protect your knee. Relax your shoulders. And then as you're ready, step your right foot in a step or two, shortening our stance. Exhale to release your right fingertips towards the mat to frame your front foot, your left foot. Make sure your hips are square. And then exhale as we release our forehead towards our knee. You can come into that Jalandhara Bandha again. As a reminder, that's tucking our chin, bringing tongue to the palate at the top of the mouth, and coming into a slight smile. Really feel this deep stretch throughout the left hamstring and the left calf muscle. Breathe deeply here, find presence. Breathe love into your muscles. And then start to bring that generous bend to both of your legs and press it up as we come into this warrior one. From here, take your gaze towards your fingertips Really feel this stretch through your right psoas, so in the front of your right hip. Relax your body with every breath. And then exhale, open it up to warrior two. 
Now you can start to bring your left toes towards the side of the mat. So again, your feet are going to be parallel towards one another. Relax your hands, bring them to your waist. Inhale to lengthen through the spine and then exhale to fold forward. Again, working to keep a flat back as much as you can. And then let your intuition guide you here. Find the position or the movement that's right for you. So we have a lot of options. You can work to bring your hands in line with your feet. You can come into that hand clasp behind your back, coming into that deeper shoulder stretch. Or if you'd like to get some more movement and more stretching throughout your legs, you can start to walk your hands to the left foot, really feeling the stretch through the left leg. And then you can walk them back towards the other foot. Just find whatever movement or position is right for your body. Your intuition is all about turning inwards and listening to what you need. So a really great opportunity here to practice that. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then inhale to press it up. Go ahead and rotate your right toes towards the top of your mat, coming into a warrior two, facing towards the top of the mat again. And then on an inhale, scoop your left fingertips down as if you're scooping up water from the ground and scoop them up until we come into this crescent lunge. Exhale to step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, reach your fingertips up to the sky one last time. And then exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Reach your arms out long and let them come all the way down to meet your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. Work to keep a flat back here, core engaged, gaze directed down on the ground. Exhale, melt it forward, plant your palms, and then step your feet back into down dog. The last down dog of the practice, so take a moment here, let it soak in. Do any last movements with your hips or with your feet. And then as you're ready on your next exhale, bring your knees towards the mat. Go ahead and sweep them out to either side of you and bring them out long in front of you. So find a position on your mat where you have enough room behind you to lie down. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Again, reach through the crown of your head and exhale to start to come down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time your head being last to lower. Then go ahead and bring your right knee in towards your chest as if you're giving yourself a hug with your right knee. And then bring your peace fingers to wrap around your right toe. If you have a yoga strap, you can also Use that to wrap around your right sole of your foot. And then on an inhale, wherever you are, go ahead and press your right foot up towards the sky, toes flexed towards your face. Breathe through this, really feel this stretch through the back of your right leg. Now we're working to get our legs straight if you can. Uh, another option here is to bring your hands to clasp behind your right leg if you don't want to have it in either of these other two positions. Again, just find the movements that's right for you. Now from here, 
you can go ahead and start to drop your right toes towards the left side of the mat. So be very gentle as you come all the way towards this, your right foot is going to touch off of the mat. And then you can bring your right fingertips towards the right side of the mat. Take your gaze over towards your fingertips. So we're really feeling this stretch through our hip. Feeling this deep twist through our torso and taking our gaze over our right fingertips. Come back to your breath. Notice how you feel. Take one more breath. And then start to come back to center. Starting to switch our legs, so bring your right leg out long, left knee in towards your chest. Then find the position here that you'd like for this pose. Again, peace fingers coming to wrap around your toe, your hands to clasp behind your leg, or coming in with the strap. Also, if you don't have a strap, you can always use a towel just for future reference if you need an at-home prop. Stay here for a breath. And then exhale to start to bring your left foot towards the right side of the mat. Then left fingertips, stretch them off to the left side of the mat. Take your gaze over there. Take a deep breath. Find one more breath, enjoying this release of tension, softening our muscles. And go ahead and bring it back to center. Give yourself one more big hug, bring both of your knees in towards your chest. And then relax your legs towards the mat. As we come into Shavasana, our final resting pose for the day. Relax everything on the mat. Let your arms hang heavy by your side, palms faced up. Come into a few moments of stillness here. Just notice how you feel and if those feelings have changed at all since the beginning of practice or if they haven't. Again, no judgment. Just becoming aware of our bodies. Connecting mind, body, spirit. Really sinking in to this present moment. You can stay still here in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Otherwise, you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, awakening your body. And then choose a side to roll onto. As we come into fetal pose for just a moment, you can start to press your hands up, coming into a seated position either cross-legged or lotus, where we started our practice. And then go ahead and close your eyes. Take another deep breath in through the nose. So I really highly recommend 
trying to meditate for just a few minutes a day. If you can't do it every day, every few days, um, just getting into this moment of stillness with yourself. It will also help you again to connect to your intuition and slow down for just a little bit. Also, if you're interested in learning more about intuition, I found this really great book called Developing Intuition. So if you're interested in checking that out, I'll link to it in the description. And then let's go ahead and bring our hands to heart center. I want to thank you all so much for showing up and sharing your energy with me. The light, the love, the teacher in me honors and reflects the light, the love, the teacher, and each and every one of you. Namaste. If you'd like to continue this yoga journey through tarot with me, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Next time we will be tapping into card number three, the Empress. So I'm excited to see you there.